Hey everybody, I'm here. Welcome back to the podcast, My View on the View, where I make the views table relatable. Relatable to our everyday lives, that is. So come on in, let's get started. Come on. Well, guys, a hearty shout out to everyone listening to the podcast all around the world. Thank you all so much for coming back. Uh, If you are a brand new listener, welcome. I've been here talking about ABC's The View, which is my favorite show other than the Oprah Winfrey show for several years now. And I plan to be here for as long as The View is going to be on the air. So I'm glad that you found me and the community here. Now, guys, listen, I told you guys the other day, you know, that I was recovering and I am going through these periods of very being very hot and being very cold. And so I'm in my little office space and I have got to have this fan on. So you're going to hear some um, noise. It may not be that loud because I have it on the lowest setting, but I cannot turn it off. Okay. So if if the noise disturbs you, you're going to have to cut this off. Okay. And catch me on a different day because I ain't turning it off. I cannot sit here and sweat. And I tell you, uh, once I'm done with this, I will be um, trying to eat some soup and then going back to bed. So guys, listen, I know that if you're new, you may be curious about what music I use. You may be curious about why that you put a comment, but it didn't show, but then you put another comment and it did. Or you may be curious about me. Uh, Who am I? Why you only hear my voice and you don't actually see me? Well, check the description box because it's actually been updated with new information. And so all of your answers are there. Guys, we got to dive into this. We got four reasons. I want to talk to you about four reasons why in my view on the view, honey, child, Candace Owens, okay, will never never even be allowed to even peer into the studios of ABC's The View. In this age of propaganda, and the media has done a really good job of creating a caricature of Candace Owens. So for those of you listening outside the United States, that was Miss Candace Owens. And that was actually a promo that she was doing for Allegedly, she was supposed to have another talk show. This was in March. I don't know what happened with it. I don't follow Candace, so it's possible, guys, that she actually has this talk show. You know, she mentioned there about the media, uh, you know, turning her into a caricature. I think she had a lot to do with that. Remember, uh, we talk about this all the time. Uh, People can only take what we give them. Okay, and so uh, for someone who's constantly fighting with other people online, I mean, it's a constant thing. Um, I'm not sure why she would think the media turned her into a caricature. Uh, They only use what you gave them. Okay, and so if you hadn't have given them all the myths and the foolishness of it all, they wouldn't have been able to do whatever you're you're alleging. Okay, so guys, let's dive into these four things. Now, before I get into this list, let me just say that they're not in any particular order. Okay, number one is not number one because it's more important. Uh, than the other things. It's just number one. Okay. Also, I want to say that this is not a podcast about the politics of Candace Owens. So if you're listening and you support Candace or you don't support Candace and you want to go on a tirade about Candace for her or against her, this is not the place. I am literally just here to talk to you about these four things. And we're going to touch on the rumor at the very end of the podcast about her joining the view. And so that's all this is. Okay. So I'm just going to keep it to these four things and that's it. Okay. So let's dive into it. Four reasons in my view on the view that Candace Owens will never, ever be allowed to even walk into the studios to be able to tell what color the carpet is. Okay. Number one, she's not vaccinated. You know, Some time ago, ABC instituted um, a mask mandate. And then after that, they encouraged, highly encouraged all of their employees to be vaccinated. And in order to be a guest co-host, a co-host on The View, you must be vaccinated. Candace is not vaccinated. So, you know, amongst uh, all the other things that would disqualify her, that's the that that's that's huge. Okay. now here's the thing. You know, whether, and this is just my opinion, whether someone chooses to be vaccinated or chooses not to be vaccinated like she uh, has, it is their business. It's not my business. You know, Um, I understand that every single person has a right to their choice when it comes to taking a vaccine or not taking a vaccine. And I respect that. But the issue with Candace Owens is that, you know, she flaunts the fact that she's not vaccinated. And I feel like, you know, 
when it comes to the view, let's just say that they would allow someone to come and be a part of the panel, even temporarily, who was not vaccinated. You can't be online flaunting that, uh, you know, talking against the science, talking against the CDC, talking against all of the people, all the doctors and scientists uh, that are part of the task force at the White House. Like you, you can't be doing that. Now, here recently, Candace alleges that she went to a COVID-19 testing site when she was in Aspen. And she says that when she pulled up, the lady recognized her. This is what Candace said. Now, we weren't there. But this, she said the lady recognized her, guys. And the lady refused to test her. And she said the lady told her, you have been out there spreading misinformation. And so I'm not testing you. And now, the bad thing about it is that Candace uh, later found out that uh, this particular site was receiving federal funds to do their COVID-19 testing. So, you know, that violates the rules. You can't be, when you're receiving federal funds, you cannot turn down anyone for a COVID-19 test. As a matter of fact, you shouldn't turn down anybody, whether you're getting funds from the government or not. Uh, people have a right to be tested if that's what they want. And so uh, because she found that out, uh, Candace has announced on social media that she has filed a complaint with HHS and uh, I'm pretty sure that lady will be fired if indeed it happened the way Candace alleges on social media it did. So you see, you you can't be out there doing those types of things and uh, you, you just can't. So I'm not concerned uh, to, that I'm going to ever see the face of Candace Owens uh, at the table of The View because she's not vaccinated. And even if they were to allow it, she like I said, she's out there. Um, you know, just flaunting it. And when we've had so many hundreds of thousands of people who've died, you get what I'm saying? It just wouldn't, it, that, that's just not, not good. Okay. The second reason in my view on the view that Candace Owens uh, will never even be able to put a piece of her toenail into the studios of the view is because she's too controversial and she's constantly fighting with people online. Now, one of the things that uh, we learned last year, Megan revealed this to us, is that Disney ABC has a social media policy for their workers. See, I didn't know that. I guess I don't know if most jobs have something like that. I know where I work, we don't have a social media policy. But, you know, most people do understand that your employers are probably creeping and tiptoeing on your social media if you have any. And so it's best to just always, you know, keep your list private or whatever, you know, and, and, and all of that, because you just don't know what folks are watching versus what they're not. And so anyway, uh, but we learned they have a social media policy. This young lady, when I tell you she's, most of you who follow or you who follow social media, you already know, like right now, her and Kim Klasick are into it big time. Now, for those of you uh, who don't know who Kim Klasick is, I can really jog your memory very quickly. Um, last year or the year before last, Kim Klasick was the young lady who came to The View. She was running for some office there in Baltimore. She ultimately lost, of course. And she was the one who got into it with Joy and Sonny because she brought up the fact that Joy had donned blackface many decades ago. Do you remember that show? That was a, that's going to go down in View history because no guest had ever challenged Joy on that, okay? And ABC uh, had said they dealt with it internally. And so, uh, you know, yeah, so we're, we're not going to ever see Kim Klasick on there again either. But in any way, right, so Kim is actually suing Candace now for $20 million over defamation. And I'm not here to go into all of that. You can Google it if you want to know more. But she's fought with Harry Styles. She's fought with Cardi B. She's fought with Charlemagne the God. She's even fought with Lance Bass. So it's like when you're so controversial outside of your job, that will wind up inadvertently overshadowing the show. And the view is not going to have that. Let's go to number three. She's spoken ill about The View and the women of The View over and over and over. So guys, I'm not worried at all. I'm not concerned in the least about ever seeing Candace Owens on this show. Listen, The View would never invite a woman to guest co-host who has talked about Whoopi, Joy, Sunny. She's, I think she's talked about everybody except uh, Sarah, you know. And not only that, but as we've talked about last year, 
Candace is constantly trolling Anna Navarro. Candace Owens and Anna Navarro have gone back and forth on social media for the last year and a half. Do you guys remember, those of you who've been with me for a long time, last year I did a video called The Outlandish Claim of Candace Owens. Do you remember that? If you're listening on YouTube, that video is still here, where we talked about, you know, she and Anna had gotten into it, where this girl then said, the ladies of The View were obsessed with her. And you and I were talking and we were like, okay, obsessed because we're OG viewers. And we never even heard them mention her name. Okay, so how she got the fact that they, how she came up with a, you know, with somebody's obsessed is like, okay, girl, it's all in your head. They've never even mentioned your name on this show. So what are you talking about? Okay, so, so again, number three, she's never going to be invited to guest co-host. She's spoken ill about the show and the women. And so they would never invite her. And then the final reason, guys, in my view, on the view why, uh, why they will never uh, invite her is because she's so polarizing. You see, you know, when you look at all of the millions upon millions upon millions of followers she has on all of her social media combined, not all of those people are following her because they support her. You know, most a lot of people see Candace Owens as a clown. Okay, and then there are tons of people who don't see her as a clown. They think that she is a leader in the uh, they see her as um, a a leader in the conservative movement. They see her as a young person to look up to. She's very, very polarizing. She is even more polarizing than Meghan McCain. And the bottom line is that when it comes to this show. They are never going to have on a person who is so polarizing, because just like I mentioned earlier, guys, that polarization would wind up overshadowing the show. And one of the things that we've heard over and over since Mrs. Kim Godwin has taken over their uh, ABC News division, which is over the view, is that she wants to rewrite the show. And, And what I mean by that is from what we've heard, she didn't like the fact that the view had become Uh, excuse me, has started trending and has been trending for the last four years because of cat fights and arguments between the women. She wants to get it back to the, to that, that, uh, get it back to a point where it's trending because of the healthy debates, uh, the good conversation, which is what this show used to trend for. Listen, I have been following The View for a long time. I've only been vlogging about it a few years, but I was always one of those viewers who was reading things and stuff like that because I like to know the behind the scenes of stuff. It's just my natural personality. And I will tell you, out of all the things that I've seen as an OG viewer, that's one of the saddest things for me to see this show be so classy and sophisticated, you know, and and then to see it go down to housewives level where it was trending all the time for cat fights and messiness and things like that. And so I am looking forward to uh, Mrs. Kim turning the ship around. And so listen, um, Kim, uh, not Kim, classic, um, Candace Owens would never be invited to guest co-host. Now, as I end, let's talk about this rumor. This rumor actually emerged uh, in July of 2021, where allegedly we heard, uh, excuse me, allegedly it was supposed to have happened that uh, the producers of The View contacted Candace Owens to invite her to the show. And allegedly when Whoopi got wind of that, she threatened to quit. Well, guys, that was not true. You know, when these rumors come out, one of the things that I've learned to do as a vlogger is follow them to their uh, end, their conclusion. And what we learn later Radar Online actually reached out to Candace Owens' rep, and this is exactly what she said. Let me read it to you. She said, quote, Candace has yet to receive any correspondence from anyone at The View. And the last time I checked, that is what her rep was still saying. So we know for a fact <laughs> that no one from The View has reached out to Candace Owens. And so guys, listen, that's that's pretty much it. You know, the bottom line is that, you know, I'm sure that Candace Owens, uh, you know, will do great somewhere else, but The View is not the place for her. Uh, this show would wind up, can you imagine? I mean, listen, it would just, it would be some sort of uh, you know, crazy headline every other day. And and the show has had four years of that with Meghan McCain, and they're not going to go back down that road. Okay, guys, listen, if you are listening on YouTube, leave your thoughts below. Uh, if you're listening on any other podcasting platform, be sure to uh, leave a review if you want to do that, or you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever uh, suits you. I'll talk to you later. Go, we go again.